Let's go to a couple of things from your mailbag. So do you think Jordan Kunisic has a chance to get serious playing time, even a starting role at linebacker? And have any undrafted free agents stood out for you? Yeah, it's interesting with Kunisic. Um, you know, he's playing a bunch. He started the other night. He's been with the starters a lot throughout the offseason and then into training camp. And it's tough to tell, though, because – um, Anthony Walker Jr. and Sione Takitaki have only just gotten back to being in team drills, right? They didn't play in the preseason game. So it's not a true depth chart. But, you know, if you're out there running with the ones, you know, even if you bring two guys back, then you're still, you know, fourth or fifth on the depth chart. So I think Kanasik makes his team. I think he's a big-time special teamer. I think he gives you the ability to play him at middle linebacker if those other two guys don't come back. So, but his playing time will depend on the health and the quality of play, right? Are these guys back to being who they were of Walker and Taki Taki? And then when it comes to undrafted rookies, you know, Watkins doesn't fit, but we already talked about him. He's in that under the radar group. Um, Ronnie Hickman would be the one that stands out. And I know everybody can point to the two interceptions against the commanders. And yes, that's where you have to start the discussion, right? He went deep and got one at the end of the first half. Then he made another play inside the red zone where he read the quarterback's eyes and cut in front of an in route. Um, a really good play. And I think he's right in that discussion to be that number four safety in that battle with DeAnthony Bell. And maybe Bubba Bolden might have been in that um, competition as well, but now he's out with a hamstring injury. Um, they waived him with that injury designation. So to me, it feels like Hickman or Bell, and Bell was the undrafted rookie a year ago, right? And he's an older guy. Um, Higman went to Ohio State, so he's a guy that I would keep an eye on. You know, Hassan Hall, the running back, has shown a burst, but, you know, against the commanders on Friday night, it was a chance for him to stand out. I think he had three yards on two carries or two yards on three carries, uh, lost a fumble. So I kind of feel like he wasted a chance. Now, he probably got a bunch against the Eagles as well because the starters aren't going to play. Um, so I guess we have to see what he does there. But it kind of feels like, that's getting away from him where at the start of camp, I thought he had a legitimate chance to make the team.